Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. Welcome to the Class Adder tutorial series. Use case number one, we are going to change position of our video element. So when the user scrolls past the video, it goes up to the top right of the page. Let's see how this works first in a live example. We are going to see our video perfect on the page in line how it's supposed to be. When the user then scrolls past this video, it will fix up in the top right and it will continue doing that throughout the page. Please understand that this is the same video. I go down and it goes right back to where it is. This is the same thing. It's not a separate video and watch how powerful this is when someone starts watching. I'm gonna go play this video. I'm interested in the content. I'm going to continue scrolling down the page and the video keeps playing. It's the same exact video. There's no change. So I can continue with my tutorial or my overview or the marketing video as I'm checking stuff out on the web page. And when I go back up to this section, it will go right back to where it was. And you can see that it does not show when I'm above the green section, only the green section and below. Nice. Okay, so that's it working live. That's what we're about to do right now. And we'll start in Designer. Great. Here in Designer, what we're going to do is look at the classes, look at the add-on classes, and go through the steps of what we have to do in Class Adder. When a video trigger scrolls into view, we are going to add our fixed video class to the video container. When the section video scrolls into view, we're going to remove that fixed video class from our video container. This example has two scroll into views. It doesn't have a scroll into view and scroll out of view. However, you can do that. If I go and just do a quick test before we actually jump in, I'll show you this other version. You can do a scroll into view and scroll out of view. You can have scroll into view and scroll out of view on the section video and it works great. If you did that method, the video would also show above above the green. So if you want the video to always be visible on the page above the green, at the green, and below the green, you can do scroll into view, scroll out of view. However, in this example, we only want the fixed video to show after the green. We want to see it in the green, and after the green, it shows up here. And to do that, the best way is to set up two scroll into view triggers. So we're going to be doing a scroll into view and then a new trigger for another scroll into view. Excellent, before we get into the class adder, let's go through the classes. All right, let's, let's look at this very first one. When video trigger scrolls into view, video trigger is right down here. And let's, let's close this up. Let's go back in here to video trigger. Video trigger is nothing, no width, no height, nothing visible. It's just a trigger on the page. It's set to absolute with a negative 110 viewport height. And what this is essentially doing, starting here and going down 110 viewport height to right here. That means when this is out of view, this now has come into view and we can go ahead and apply our class to the video element. When this comes back into view, when our section video is in view, we can then take that class out. So let's see what this class does. Let's, what is this add-on class doing? Let's watch it working. We have our video, we have our video container. This is the element that we'll have a class added to and removed from in our build. Check out video container, add on class fixed video. And if I apply this class, I am changing position to fixed. I'm also changing the width. So I can go and add and remove this. And this is exactly what class adder is doing. It's going to be adding and removing this class when we tell it to. So video trigger comes into view. We're going to add that class to the container. When the section video comes in, 
right when this hits in the page, bam, that video is going to go back where it started. Now let's go into Class Adder and actually make this work. All right, let's just go down this list and make it work. When Video Trigger scrolls into view, so I will go and copy Video Trigger. Nice. When this scrolls into view, I'll create a new pair. And a pair is a pair of classes, or a, a, a pair of an element and a class that will be added to that element or removed from that element. Let me, let me go through the example here. Target class is going to be our video container, I believe. Yeah, video container, and we want to add a fixed video class to it. So let's go and add our fixed video. You can see that we can add and remove, sweet, and we're just going to keep it as add. Let's also go and create a new trigger. So this is the second scroll into view. Instead of scroll out of view, we're now going to do a second scroll into view. And instead of our video trigger being our scroll trigger, we're going to now use our section video, which is this element right here. So if I go section video, and I will make sure this is classified. Uh, we got section, video, scroll, interview. We have a new pair, and that is going to be the same thing we have here, video container with our fixed video. Instead of adding, we're going to remove. So let's go through this. Video trigger comes into view. We're going to target our video container and add the fixed video class to it. When our section video now comes into view, we're going to target our video container and remove that fixed video class. If you're at the top of the page and you're just coming into this for the first time, it's going to remove this class, but it doesn't exist, so nothing will happen. That's why this works. Okay, great, this is the code that we need. And just to confirm that we're totally good here and this is what we need, I'm going to show the comments in the code I'm going to go ahead and copy this JavaScript and I will go paste it right into the site and show that this is the code that's making it work. We have our HTML embed here. I'm gonna go copy or paste what I just had. Nice, this is what we just did. And I will go and publish. So when I publish, we should, we should see the exact same thing happening. I'll go back to the live example, let's reload. Sweet, we have our vid and it's fixed. Nice, that's exactly what we're looking for here. And when we go back to the green, it now is back in line. And you can see it's not showing above the green. Again, if you want it at all times, above the green, at the green, and below the green, you can do section video, scroll into view, and then scroll out of view. So the scroll out of view would be the video container, fix video, add class. But we're gonna stick with this. This one's much cooler. So this is working. That's exactly what we wanted. Great. We see the vid, we see it fixed. Nice. That's how you make this happen. If you are interested in seeing this actually working and the class is being added and removed, let's go into Inspector and watch that work. Here we go into our, we have our video trigger, we got our wrap and our container, awesome. Okay, so this video trigger is a bit down the page and when we get to it, 110, negative 110 viewport height after this green, so just a little bit after the green is gone, bam, there we go. Look at that class being added, fix video, removed, added, removed. That is exactly what we're going for. This is what it looks like in Inspector. This is what the site is doing. Excellent, that's exactly what we wanted. One important thing to note, this is a good thing to understand. We have specifically put a height on this element. And the reason is, if you do not set a height, it is going to snap on the page. If it's just relative, we have no height applied, it's going to 
snap out of place. And actually, let me show you this because you may do this and be very confused why it doesn't work perfectly. So I'll go and publish this. I'll also go and revert so we don't remove that and check it out. So look what happens here. Everything is, ha is going to happen as we planned, but it's also going to snap. Look at that page snap because there's no established height. We're changing something that is relative, which inherits its own height. And then if we are making it fixed, it no longer has that height, so it snaps. We do not want this. This is messy. Don't do it. So by applying this 500 height, we can then make sure that we establish that height so when we change the inner contents of this video container, the page doesn't snap. And we're published. We're going to the live example, and we will see this working without the snapping. Great. That's a full overview of how this use case one works. If you have questions, if you have concerns, if you need some help, please reach out, go to sweetjs.io. We are here and ready to help. That's effing sweet.